Today, I'm gonna to be demonstrating the Pico Presso from Wakaiko. It's their latest portable espresso machine. I've had this for about three weeks now and I've made a lot of coffees at home. I took this on a camping trip and made coffee in a tent. I've made coffee up a mountain, uh, Mount Kinder. I didn't take all my camera equipment and film it all because I'm a bit lazy and I couldn't be bothered to carry it all up and down the hill. Plus I had Baxter with me. I wanted to be quite lightweight just in case anything happened, he turned his ankle or something, I don't know. I was a little bit worried for him, but he was a trooper. I've actually shot an unboxing at home. So I'll put that into the video so you can see that the box and how it comes. It's so well presented. All of Wakako products are, but this one is like premium presentation. The box is, um, well, you're probably looking at the box now if I'm showing that footage, which I probably am, and you'll see. Right, in the box, you've got the main body and that has got a few items inside, which I'll show you in a second. This is the funnel for when you're preparing your basket. The tamp, which is machined out of metal and it's got a good weight to it and that will just nest nicely into the funnel. The case is bang on, it's super lightweight and the Pico Presso drops so nicely in there. It's such a nice fit. Then you've got the literature, it comes with a couple of stickers, a warranty card and the user manual. The user manuals in every language you could think of and the illustrations and descriptions and uh, tips on cleaning it and getting the best results you couldn't ask for more this is a distribution tool that's just to pre prepare your grinds and then inside the water tank you've got a brush and the brush can just sit inside there along with the dis distribution tool and then the tamp and the funnel will nest on top of it and then the water tank lid will just screw down there's your pump um, and that will just push in and twist to lock into position now underneath you've got a rubber cover that you can use to catch any spills after you've used the pick presso there's another rubber cover that just directs the flow during extraction so if you've got a small um, container you're not going to spill it over the edges and then inside you've got the shower head uh, and inside there there's a little scoop that's got a fold out handle on there if you use pre-ground coffee uh, I don't but um, for some it's useful and then you've got the basket uh, which is pressed out of stainless steel the porter filter is machined to perfection beautiful diamond no on the edge there's a good weight to it as well and uh, it just screws so so neatly into the unit it just feels like such a premium quality product um, they basically come back and said no we'd prefer it if you didn't post it so i chucked it all in the bin anyway i've started this video with a waffle and uh, that's one thing i've been trying to avoid i want to try and get away from the waffle and just talk about the product now in the manual, there's a QR code and if you scan it, it will take you to a page where it displays different types of grind settings. And for the Pico Presso, it recommends an ultra fine grind. And the interesting thing was it said it's typically an illy grind. Now I don't use pre-ground coffee, but for the purpose of this review, I thought I'll go out and buy some pre-ground illy Classico espresso so that I can take a look at the grind test it out and then obviously match the grind to the beans that I actually use I'm currently using some uh, red brick from square mile what I'll do is I'll put 18 grams in my grinder and grind these ultra fine this is the crush grind I did a video review on it if any of you want to watch it, check it out. It's, it does do a really great job of grinding nice and fine and good quality as well. You take the funnel and you drop the funnel over the top like that. And you can just pour your coffee in. And then we take this little distribution tool. We just work it around a little bit like that. 
just to break the clumps up and to even it out. Now we get the tamp that comes with it. This will just drop over the top and it bottoms out on, on a shoulder so that you always apply the same amount of pressure. And then you just get the shower head, place it on top like that. Now, before you start your extraction, it's good to put a bit of hot water into the water tank and start pumping it through. And um, that's just gonna heat all of the mechanism up so that when you do do your um, actual espresso, you're not gonna lose that temperature, which is quite a crucial thing with all portable espresso machines to maintain uh, a good temperature, you need to preheat. Basically, before you put your portal filter under, underneath, just keep it like that, put a bit of water in the top, you don't even have to put the lid on and just pump it through. Now after you've done that, you can take your port filter that you've already prepared and just attach that to the bottom. Now we can add our water. Put the lid on top. Okay, so as you start pumping, you're gonna pump about eight or nine times and that's just gonna start the coffee coming out. Then give it about 10 seconds just to infuse a little bit and then start your pump. And then what you can do is take this and drop it back down like that. The espresso is great, but the footage that I took is terrible. So I'm probably going to film it indoors in the kitchen. Uh, I'm having a logistical nightmare at the moment, to be honest, with the weather and the lighting and the sound and the dog and the bugs. I'm being attacked by bugs. So when I get back... Attacked by bugs, that was an understatement. Totally covered. So I'm going to finish this video in the kitchen, make a nice espresso, show you how good quality the crema is from a non-pressurized head and um, round off down there I think. Hey check this out. I did that myself, self-portrait with a pencil. Pretty pleased with it. Right let's go down to the kitchen. Can't make it up. Okay, now while I make this second coffee, I'm just going to explain to you the three major factors to dial in the Pico Presso. Firstly, it's the coarseness of the grind, then, it's the weight in the basket, and lastly, it's the speed that you pump the piston. 
If you grind too fine or put too much weight in, it will clog up or the extraction will be too slow. Likewise, if it's too coarse and there's not enough weight in the basket, it will come out too quickly. And if you're pumping the piston too fast, you'll have an inconsistent pressure and that will obviously affect the quality of the espresso. So you want to be aiming for one pump per second, a total extraction time of around 25 seconds depending on the beans you're using and you're looking for around 40 grams in the cup. There we go guys. That is coffee shop quality espresso. I think that's my third double shot this morning. <laughs> Now cleaning it when you're indoors is an absolute doddle. You just rinse all the components under the tap. It's very important to just pump fresh water through for about 10 seconds, nice and quickly, just to clean it out. And then it will last you for years. But when you're outdoors in the woods, you have to do it differently. So what I do is when I boil water, I always boil more than I need. And what you want to do is bring along a few sheets of kitchen roll because normally if you're at home you'd let this drip dry but when you're out on the trail you want to get water off of it if you can so just give it a little wipe with some kitchen roll it'll be nice and dry now if you're storing this for a long period of time you might want to take this rubber off as well really what you don't want to do is have wet components just sort of sitting there doing nothing but you can get this back in pretty easily you just work the edge back over like that this is clean anyway but you can just give that a little wipe just to dry off any excess give it a little shake if you want look at that puck and lastly the basket And there we go, all the components are now nice and clean. And then all I've got to do is give this a little swish, dry it off, and there you go. So guys, that's a look at the Pico Presso. I hope you enjoyed this review. There'll be links to the product in the description below if you're interested. Click the link, check it out. Uh, I look forward to your comments and thank you to all the new subscribers that have joined since my last video if you're not subscribed click the subscribe button and see you when i see you